Good afternoon. My name is George Armstrong. I'm here today with my son Ethan and my daughter Megan running the camera. And we're going to do a demo uh, of how to tape between two points, two fixed points, using a steel tape. Note that these tapes are calibrated in decimal feet. The other thing you want to notice is the zero. All tapes are a little bit different. You should notice where zero is. This one happens to be at the knuckle. Ethan's going to be the rear tapesman, and he's going to be measuring actually to the point. He's going to hold the tape down, and when I yell good at the other end, he will take the measurement. Okay, I'm now at the second point that we're going to measure to. Whenever we make measurements in civil engineering, we always want to be horizontal. If I hold simply down from point to point, we're actually measuring along the slope of the hill. We need to measure horizontally. Now there's two ways to do that. One would be to use a hand level, and I could judge where horizontal is using the hand level. Or the way most people do it, they simply stand back and look at the tape, and they can eyeball judge can eyeball judge where horizontal is. So once I make that determination, Ethan's going to pull at about 15 pounds, nice and tight. I'm going to take the plumb bob and drape it over the zero end, holding the tape about horizontal. Now he has to put the resistance on. Go ahead and pull. And at about 15 pounds of tension, you'll notice that the tape tends to shimmer or sort of wave in the wind. That's when you can tell you have the right tension. I'm going to now direct my attention to the point of the plumb bob and watch. I try to keep the tape against my body. Instead of standing behind it, it's far easier to stand sideways and allow me to see and to keep the tension on. Go ahead and pull. When I'm over top of the point, and sometimes when it's waving, I just sort of set it on the top and let it stop the wave. Go ahead and pull a little tighter. And when I'm over top of the point, I say, good, at which point he makes the measurement. 